Hi friends, my name is Devendra. Let us see how to solve this question, which was asked in recently an exam which I mentioned in the thumbnail. Okay, let us get into the video. If you see here, the question it shows that there are n cities in a country, and the George, like a, the person name is George, he is currently at the city number one, and they are saying that we can move to either city of i plus one or i plus three if it exists. So they are saying one more thing that they are giving us one array of a whatever it may be. It should it is containing prices of all the cities okay now as they said the formula will be array of a equal to cost of i minus cost of j so to calculate the cost of flight ticket we need to do this formula to get the price between any two cities so now they are asking us to return the minimum possible cost of flight ticket required to reach the city n so nothing but they are asking us to person will start from here from the starting array he want to go to the end array he want to go to the lost city now he they are asking there are chances that he can go from one city forward or he can go three cities forward so now they are asking us what is the minimum price to get from city first to city lost so we need to just see the question once what they are also giving the input so they are giving input 1 and input 2 where input 1 is mentioned about like number of cities and input 2 is all about the prices where they have given us a formula to get prices from the to, we can get prices from that array where we have seen 4, 12, 13, 18, 10, 12. So the output should be 10. Let me tell you how to solve this problem actually. So if you see here, I declared one array of all the prices, okay, from all the cities. Let me give the index numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are having now 5 cities where I have declared every, everything. Now I am having one formula that for every city 1, I can just check price by having nothing but this formula if you see here pl of i minus 1 plus absolute difference between a of i minus i minus i minus 1 so actually what i am saying they are giving the thing like it's a subtraction between two previous cities so if you see a of i and a of i minus 1 if i am currently at first place currently a of i is 12 okay so 12 minus a of i minus 1 is nothing but a of 0 12 minus 4 which is nothing but 8 so i can here i can write here 8 okay i can write here 8 so in this way we need to go like we need to move forward till we reach the end of the array so this is the first one like first formula is saying what will happen if we move one step forward what will be the price okay that's the thing with the first formula but we are having a second formula why we are having second formula is we should check what will happen if we move three cities at a time Okay, this one will fill the array with the single steps. But the second formula which we are seeing is discounting the previous cost of the city which we moved in a single step. And also we are comparing what will happen if we move three cities backward. So generally people will think of solving this problem like uh, left to right. If we saw, like if you try to solve this problem from left to right, we can't do it. We should get things from right to left. What we are doing, we are just going forward and we are comparing backward. So here what actually we are doing is we are just going forward and just coming three steps back and checking whether the coming three, three steps back is greater or current step is greater. If we see the code that I have mentioned here, firstly we will declare one array of say like array with all the null values nothing but zero and with an input one. So we are going to start with step one nothing but city one because in city one we can get back to city zero right. So that's why I kept it like this. If we see here. For every city, I am just getting back one city and I am just finding the price of the city and keeping it in this PL array. And if we just see this one, I am writing one condition if i is greater than or equal to 3. Which means it will say that if I crossing third city means I am having a chance of getting this third, getting to this third city by taking it three steps, right? So that's why whenever I am greater than this 3, like greater than or equal to this city 3, I am just checking whether the step which I took 1 is lesser than three steps nothing but if you see here pl of i will give you the result of single step price but this will give you the result of three steps price nothing but what we are doing here we are just calculating the price of three steps what will happen before three plus absolute difference between the current city and before the city like nothing but before three cities if you follow this code we can get output as 10 i'm just running the code let us see so if you see here right so this is a simple code which we can solve easily here only thing we need to know is like error manipulation we're nothing but we're comparing single steps with the three steps so we're just going one step forward at one time then we're filling the array with all the single step results then again we are just 
checking all the three steps is the three steps are better than the single step and we are comparing the single step value and we are just simply changing it if you see here i am just give assign like assigning price variable two times first one is like doing simple thing nothing but uh, price of previous city plus price of the current city and also for the third one i am doing price of current city plus price of previous third city okay i hope you understood this video please subscribe and share it with your friends also thank you